means nothing. Ain't no deep say this. Somebody just needs to get a worship moment right now. There is nothing that God cannot handle. Hear me? There is nothing that he is scared of. There's no sin you've committed that makes him so offended and so repulsed that he removes himself. Oh my God. People hear me now. There is nothing. You've got to hear this tonight because the enemy wants to make you think that somehow God is mad at you and that if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, if you put yourself in a mess, some of you are living in constant reminders of your sin and your guilt. But I want you to know right now, your God has never changed. Jesus the same yesterday. I really appreciate you guys allowing me to come and talk to you. You guys are a beautiful couple, literally. So how long have you guys known each other? Mm, about six, six years. years. Okay, all right, nice. Yeah. Uh, and so, what draws you to Cassie? Besides the obvious. Is she? Well, she is beautiful. She is very beautiful, Thank both you. inside and out. I mean, Cassie has a wonderful spirit. And she is just a beautiful person. Okay. And so, Cassie, for you, what, what do you like best about Edward over here? Besides all this good chocolate. Oh, yeah, I see that chocolate. But okay. Mm. Um, he's strong. Mm -hmm. he, he loves me. He protects me. He challenges me to be better. Um, he allows me to be myself vulnerabilities and all what what more can you ask for you guys are what, wonderful thank nice you. very thank nice thank you so much well, Cassie uh, I want to thank you so much for inviting me into your home and agreeing to do this interview with me um, I really believe that your story is going to be a blessing to others oh absolutely it's my pleasure I actually didn't realize anyone was even paying attention. Um, okay, so, well, before jumping right into HIV, let, let's start from the beginning. Talk to me about why you decided to document your life and, and the story of your, your friends. Okay, um, actually it wasn't intentional. I like the camera and attention. I'm okay with saying that. So me and my girlfriends decided to document the week leading up to my big 30th birthday because I was having a big birthday party. Like so this was just supposed to be something great and fun. Um, we weren't expecting for our lives to just unravel the way that they did. Like it just happened so quickly. We, we just didn't realize. And if I can be very transparent during that time though. Now, what are y'all doing with this box over here? What, what? what I want to know is why are we eating off these paper plates when you yes. have all that good china? Yeah. yeah, because you know you ladies are nasty, and I'm not bringing uh, out my nasty. little good china. Yes, and you're taking your trash with you when you go. If I can be very transparent during that time, though, honestly, I wasn't happy, and it had nothing to do with HIV. Mm -hmm. Well, please, please explain. Uh, tell me why you were so sad during this time. Tanya. She's one of my very good friends, and we knew that she was being abused, but we just didn't know how to help her. And her, her boyfriend, DJ, he was a horrible person, and we knew it. We just didn't know what to do. Mm. Um, what, what kind of signs did you see of abuse? One too many black eyes. Excuse after excuse after excuse. But we didn't know how to help. Can you, can you stop, please? Get off. But you don't love me anymore? You know I love you. Just say... 
I'm just a little sore from the other night when you hit me on accident and I just need a day to heal. Okay. You know, that was an accident. I would never do anything to hurt you. I, I know, I know you wouldn't, and that's why I've been trying to work on my behavior. Yeah, work on your behavior. Yeah. You've been working on your behavior for five years, yeah? How long is it gonna take? You know what? Sorry. Just your sleep, baby. Just your sleep. <laughs> Good night. We'll get back to Tanya in just a minute. Uh, tell me about your friends and, and also about Gerald. My friends. Well, first of all, we all went to school together. We all attended an HBCU. And some of us are sorority sisters. And then, of course, there's Jackie. My Jackie. I love my Jackie. And as far as Gerald and Trish, they went to a different HBCU, but we all met in college. So you guys have been knowing each other for some time now. Absolutely. Okay, so tell me about your story. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Y'all are some luscious. Where's the food? The, it's okay. coming. We ordered some, okay? Ordered the pizza. It's, it's, it's coming. It's supposed it's to be coming. I get here. Why are you always worried about food? Is it a big girl for no reason? Where is the food? <laughs> it's on the it's way. On the way. <laughs> it's on the way. On the way. We ordered we and it's, ordered on, the, it's on the way. Okay. Okay. I told you for the last time. You are to have food here when I get here. Oh. Do not torture. Oh no, here's a kiss. Yeah, yeah really. Okay. We love you. Okay. It's on the way. Okay, ladies, I have a question. Not to be a Debbie Downer or anything, but have any of you all asked your man to get an AIDS test before? Well, oh, financial. Seriously, Jackie, financially? The pockets. No, yeah. I'm saying. Jackie. Got, the Jackie. Pockets, they got, they got right. Jackie, we are not talking about financial. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. What's up with that? Okay, wait a minute. How about condoms? Do you ask your man to wear condoms? Okay, mama. What, what's okay. up with the 101 oh, questions here? What's going on? I mean, really? Oh, wow. mm -hmm. She's gonna have to get this one. What is okay, going on? Okay, well, I decided to uh -uh. stop using condoms uh -uh. with Gerald. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Oh, no, my she didn't. Goodness. She didn't. But wait a minute. I, there's a reason why I did it. Oh, 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 please. Okay, okay. Oh, it's like to Make it good. Mm -hmm. One, because I absolutely love him. Mm -hmm. And two, mm -hmm. 
to let him know that I trust him. Oh, oh my God. Don't you all do that? No. Oh. Okay. Oh, no, see now. Okay. I can't even take it. Let me, let me impart some wisdom on you. Okay, since please I'm married. Do. Please And I don't please. have to worry about those kind of things. Okay, But well, anyway, do. girl, trust. Child, wear the condoms, yes, okay? Exactly. Because you know he's still sleeping with Trish. He, he right. right. You he right about that. Right. She's right. Wait a minute. He no, no, she no, no, she's, she's right. right. She's right. She's on right. That. Yes, he is. He's, he is. Yes. Wait a minute. But she's, she's wrong. wrong. You wrong. wrong. No. Wait yeah, a minute. Wait a minute. I know that Gerald is not sleeping with Trish, okay? And I know it because he told me we talked. Okay? Oh, he, he told, told you. He, he told her. He told. Okay. Mm -hmm. He looked me in my eyes and he told me that he's not having sex with you. <laughs> that's good, girl. That's a good one. Yeah, I like that. Really. I like that one too. Yeah. Mm. Really. Okay. That was mm -hmm. so rude. Mm -hmm. He told us. Mm -hmm. See that. when I share with y'all again. <laughs> in your eyes. That's all oh. the time. Just looking in your eyes. Okay. <laughs> Renee is right about that. Exactly. But she wrong on. The other thing, because you the one back in the day. Yeah. Oh, yes. no. Yes. Yes. I'm glad you got married. Yes, yes. seriously. Your so past so tale would what not do wrap you have it up. to say, Renee? I couldn't feel well, it. I'm just saying. <laughs> but, excuse me, but that's how I used to feel. Okay. Before I saw the pumps on Marcus's penis. Okay, uh, wait, uh, a mm. wait a minute. Wait a minute. Five, Marcus? Five, oh, Marcus. Yeah, wait a minute. No. Marcus had bumps? Mm -hmm. um, a lot of them, girl. Oh, and did you see those? Wait, wait, wait. Did you see those before or after you had sex? Mm. Forget sex. You didn't get them hand, did you? No. Yeah. Get, did you catch something? Yeah. Oh. Did you catch something? Okay. Look, look, look. I did not catch anything. Okay. okay. Great. And I yeah. saw them before I went down on him. Oh Thank my you. goodness. It's a good thing I did because I could have given it to Greg. Now you still yeah, not drinking. Yeah, yeah, but still. Yeah. Really? So, the question is, what did you say? What happened? Like, no. Yeah, what did he say? Okay, okay, look, I'm going to set the scene for you. Okay? Please, yeah, please set, set the scene, scene for us. Nice. So, I'm down there handling, getting ready to handle my business. Though, okay. Right? And so, I look at him and I say, um, mm -mm. honey, mm -mm. you have bumps on your penis. Oh, God. Oh, God. What's up with that? Yeah. What did yeah. he say? What did he say? tell me? Uh -huh. Oh, you know, baby, they always been there. Oh, he was born no, with he like didn't. it was congenital yes. or something. Oh, oh my God! God. What, did you, what did you do? Oh, what did you do? 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 What did I got up off my knees. All right. Got up right. off my knees. I put on my clothes. All right. All right. All right. All right. And I exited to the left. Uh oh, to the left, to the left. To the left. To the left. Uh, to the left. To the left. Because that man was officially Black History. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Black History. But see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, we're laughing and everything, but just think. What are the, like, top five things that we know about a guy as soon as we need him? Where he works, mm -hmm. what, kind of what kind of car he drives, yeah. how much money That's he's making, right. if he's yeah. ever been divorced or married, and how many kids. kids. Yes. Right. But we don't ask the important questions like, have you ever had an AIDS test? Mm -hmm. How often do you use condoms? Mm -hmm. Hell, you know where we live. Are you bisexual? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, ATL, Shawty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have to get back to the basics and make sure that we protect ourselves. We have to do better because I just thought about it. If we really like a dude on that first day, he can get the business. Mm -hmm. Please don't sit down. Because y'all man's Because mm -hmm. I no. told you. That's Renee. That's that's no. Yeah. Jackie, why are you talking trash? Do you remember last week? No. Ken? No. Ken? no. Who? Ken? Who? 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 Ken? No. <laughs> I've been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, th that's all I'm saying is we just, we just have to do better and I don't think I'm wrong for what I'm doing, but I definitely feel as women we need to protect ourselves and at least ask those types of questions. You're right. We only got yeah. one life. Okay. You're right. We'll do better. Thank you, Cam. Yolo. 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 To ask if you regret the decision of not using a condom would be really a, a silly question to ask, but, um, do you think you would have done differently? Do you think you would have ever gotten to the point of believing your friends when they told you about Gerald and, and, and him sleeping around with Trish? Do you think you ever would have gotten uh, to that point of believing that? 
to be honest, I believed them. I knew. But um, I had invested six years with Gerald. And deep down, I wanted to believe that that man would change for me because he loved me. I gave him everything. I did everything for him. I even gave him my life. And, and looking back, it really wasn't about my love for Gerald. It really was about my low self-esteem. Looking back, I remember when I told my girlfriends for the very first time that me and Joe weren't using protection anymore. It seems like yesterday. Mm. All right, Trish, let's go through her life. I mean, her interaction with Gerald, I mean, they had this stronghold on each other. I mean, it, it was almost as if they were inseparable. Um, no matter what, and no matter who they hurt in the process, they were gonna be together. So tell me more about their story. Trish. You're slipping away from me. I'm trying to hold on as tight as I can. What do you want from me? I hear more in the conversation of your silence. I don't understand You want to be free So I let go I never want to hold you back Then your world goes up in flames I open the door for you to This nigga hasn't called me back yet. Are you freaking kidding me? He knows I'm crazy. Why? Why does he make me do that? Why does he make me do this? managed to get through grad school without an episode. What the hell are you doing in here? That's right. It's not a dream. I'm really here. 
Good morning. Tris, put down the knife. Good put, morning. Put it down. Are you crazy? Tr Trish, Trish, Trish. Put down the knife. And no, I'm not crazy. You said you would call me back, but you never did. I needed to talk to you. Okay, did Cassie hear you? No. Yeah. If she did, yeah, I would have heard the drama already. No, this is some fatal attraction, boil the rabbit type shit. No, I can't deal with this right now. I'm going to the bathroom, and when I get back, your crazy ass need to be gone. It's fine. Handle your business. But one way or another, you're going to listen to me. Oh, is that so? I'm willing to bet my life on it. The fuck is wrong with you? I should kill you, bitch! Me. He led me on you. We, we were engaged to that high yellow, high, high yellow bitch brought her ass into town and they, they, they fell in love. I'm not telling him shit. That's what I hope he, I hope he, I hope you give it to her!
let you take one thought of me Who am I that you'd give your life for me Who am I that your grace would flow to me But I'm grateful Oh so grateful that Yes, I'm grateful, so very grateful that you did. Yes, I'm grateful, oh so grateful that you did. Yes, I'm grateful, so very grateful that you did.
struggle with how I should feel about her and the situation. I mean, someone died because of mental illness. However, she was wicked. She purposely hurt so many people. So sometimes it's hard for me to be empathetic to all the pain that she caused. I'm sorry she's dead. Mm. Wow. All right, uh, changing positions for a bit. Let's, let's dive into um, your parents a bit. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this meal, our health, and all great things you give us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Mother, food looks wonderful. Thank you, dear. Let me start by saying thank you, Professor Rollins, and Mr. Rollins for inviting me to lunch as well. Stop talking. I invited Cassandra to lunch, and like a leech sucking the life out of my daughter, here you are. Mother, are we gonna start now? Whoa, uh, slow down, Cassandra. Don't talk to your mother like that. Yeah, whatever. Cassandra, has your boyfriend of five years asked for your hand in marriage yet, or, or does he continue to just string you along until you're too old for anyone else? Mother, he is sitting right there. Why don't you ask him? Professor Rollins and <laughs> Mr. Rollins. Ma'am, let me assure you that I do plan on marrying your daughter one day. Excuse me, my I wife have, wasn't I talking love. to you. I do plan on marrying Cassie one day, and I do, but my life is really complicated. Just as soon as I work a few things out. Look, you piece of crap. Stop messing over my daughter. I what kind of man are you? Sir, I know you two both don't, don't like me. But just let, let me explain to you my plans. Right now, I'm a junior associate at Keller Brothers and Sterling. And in six months, I'll be quickly moving up. Then I'll ask Cassie. Uh, boy, don't nobody care about your pipe dreams. <laughs> Something funny, Cassandra? Mother, you used a double negative. It's funny when you start acting ghetto. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny, do you? We'll try this on for size. Kick his narrow butt to the curb and stop acting like his little hope. Is that language that you understand, dear? Did you just call me a hoe? What type of mother talks to their child like that? Huh? You are such a hateful woman! Just keeping it real, dear. You know what? You no, just no, 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 baby. I, I got this. 
You got what, you piece of shit? You know, I had just about enough of you. Now, I demand that you show me some respect, because I am in your daughter's life, and I'm not going anywhere. Sit your punk ass down! I just don't understand why you all came here, Mom. Pumpkin! You punk. Baby, come back. You little man. Yeah, girl. Gerald and Tanya have been MIA. You don't think that... I know. Girl, let me call you back back. All right. Hello, where have you been the last week? Baby, I need you to listen to me. I know you heard me. Where have you been the last week? You know what? I don't know why I continue to deal with your behind. I'm sick and tired of your disappearing acts. Somebody tell me why I continue to put up with you. Cassie, will you, Cassie, we need to talk. Please, just, just, just hear talk. me. Talk? You want to talk? Why, Gerald? Why? So you can tell me more lies? You have taken me down more dark alleys than anyone deserves in one lifetime. So you know what? I'm done. Take my key off of your key ring, sit my key on this table, and get Would your you ass just out. Just shut up for one moment. Just shut up. God, you just drive me crazy sometimes. Look, baby, look. Honey, look, sweetie. I messed up. Gerald. Man, I messed up. Man, honey, look, I'm so okay, sorry. Gerald, Please, God, I Gerald, know I'm Gerald, so sorry. Gerald, what's, what's wrong? Gerald. Gerald. Is Trish pregnant? Man, Gerald. I begged you to stop dealing with her. Look, that is not it. I see, look. Baby, just listen to me. And I'm going to need you not to fight me on this one. I'm going to need you to just do this. I need you to go to the doctor and get a... Get what? Get a... Get an AIDS test. <laughs> an AIDS what? Cassie, you know I always loved you. I just... Stop it! Stop it! I know I love you, but I never wanted to hurt you. Do you have it? Yes! Oh my God. Why didn't you love me enough to stay faithful, Jared? Huh? Why, Gerald? Because of you, my life would never be the same. Know my past. You know about the abuse, and Your I can still have it as a, as a child. Your I told past. you time and time again about it. I was trying to get it. You know that. Nigga, I told you to go and get some professional help, and you're up here telling me to take a damn AIDS test. There's something else. I'm also sleeping with. Look, you don't know what I've been through. I've been hurting my Shut life. So there's someone else. You know what? Oh my God. You need to tell me everything. I gotta go. The hell you do? Nigga, get your ass back here! You owe it, Jim! Strong tower
God, I, I can't have it. God, you are a merciful God, and I know I haven't done everything that I was supposed to do, but I, I just can't have it. And I apologize for being reckless with Gerald. And I apologize for flirting with my boss, even though I know he's a married man. God, I'm a good person, and I know, I know you will watch after me. God, please hear my cry. Please do not let me have HIV, please, God. Oh. You are my strength, you are my, strength. my strong tower. Aunt Donna, Hi, good to see you. How are you doing, Jackie? Doing well. Uncle David, good to Aunt see wife, you. Baby. Welcome. Nice Welcome. Interesting decorum. Um, is this um, contemporary? <laughs> yes, Aunt Donna. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Um, Cassandra asked to see us. Where is she? Yes, she's right in here. Oh, Please okay. go into the living room. Hey, baby Hi. girl. Uh, mother, Cassandra. <laughs> so did you go find Jackie's house okay? Mm -hmm. Good, good. Um, thank you for coming. I have something, you know, that I needed to share with you both. Well, I, I really don't know how to say this. Um, about, about a month ago, um, wow. Don't know how to say this, so I guess I'll just say it. A month ago, I was diagnosed with HIV, and I got it from Gerald. That punk gave you AIDS? Oh, I'll take da care daddy, of this. Daddy, 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 daddy. Don't worry about Gerald. Cause I'm the one that's here right now. <laughs> See what happens when you screw around with trash. Why are we here, Cassandra? Do you want money? Well, honey, money can't fix this. Money? Do I want money? No, I don't want money. I just had to tell two of the most important people in my life that I have HIV. All I want was some love and some understanding and some support. We love you, honey. We, we support you. We understand. We're here. We're here for you. We'll get you the best care that's out there, sweetie. And baby girl, look at me. Look at me. This is not a death sentence. They've come a long way in 20 years. That's right, Cassie. They have. It's so right. Jackie, Don't... shut up. Nobody asked you. This is a family matter. And I am family. No, you're not. Your crackhead mother dropped you off on our doorstep. That's right, your mother. My sister didn't die in any car crash. That woman dropped you off on our doorstep. And after two weeks, my mother, your grandmother, convinced me to take you in. I gave you the best life possible. And I sent you to medical school. But honey, you are no relative of mine. I tell all my friends that you were a homeless child. And I took you in and raised you as my own. Donna, that's enough! Damn the things that come out of your mouth sometimes. You got hell in you, woman. Oh, really? 
And as for you, little Miss AIDS girl, you've been laying with that man for five whole years against our advisements and many pleadings for you to leave. And now you want understanding and love. You must be completely out of your mind. It's time you learn the truth, little girl. I married white, yes, for one reason. So that I could have one light-skinned child. That's all, just one. I did that for you. You came into this world with advantages because of your skin color. I nurtured you. I gave you the best life possible. And this is how you repay me. What am I supposed to tell my friends, huh? How am I going to explain to them when they see you eating off a of paper uh. plate and using plastic utensils because you sure ain't going to be eating off of my china? She'll never be able to spend the night again because her bodily fluids may mix in with my sheets. You, Cassandra, have completely ruined everything. And now you want to Ain't that special? isn't working yet. The medication is working, Cassie. Look, remember the doctor said it's gonna be a month, at least, and then the side effects are gonna go away. It's three weeks, you're almost there. And at least you got out of the bed and put some makeup on today, girl, because you've been looking a hot mess. Well, just because I feel like crap doesn't mean I have to look like I know it. that's right, cuz. But I still shouldn't be feeling like this, Jackie. Look, your body's under attack. Okay, you have to realize that. But the medicines will get in, they're gonna regulate your system and it's gonna get better. I don't wanna hear that. I just wanna hear I'm gonna be fine. Okay, you're going to be fine. Really, Jackie? Real soon, really, I promise. Just hold on. But Mommy Dearest is on her way. You gonna be okay? Cause okay. you know I can stay. It's about that time, uh -huh. but, no, but no. I can stay cause I'm not, <laughs> I, I got Aunt Donna, you know I'm not. You know what, I can deal with her negativity. Okay. With how I'm feeling, it can't be any worse. Okay, if you're sure. I am. Because I don't mind staying. I know. I had to let myself in because no one answered the door. Hey, Aunt Ellen. How are you, Jackie? <laughs> Pleasure seeing you. Okay. Hi, Mother. Hi, how are you doing, dear? Do you need anything? You know, Cassandra, I must say, I, I can't believe the mess you've made for yourself. You know, your father has started drinking again. Yes, Mother. Father has started drinking again because of you. With what you're putting this family through? His drinking is very understandable. You know what? I am not going to sit here and be lectured by I you. I am sick and tired of you disrespecting me. Do you hear me? You just hit me. What am I going to tell people? What about the holidays? You can't eat off of our dishes because your saliva is tainted. <laughs> no man is going to want you now. You are damaged goods. Mother, I have HIV, not a death sentence. As if there is a difference. There is a difference. Mother, I have friends that love me. I have a life that you know absolutely nothing about because all you want to do is just dwell on the bad thing. I am standing right here and I am sick. I am sick. And you won't even hug me. Mom, why won't you just hug me? I'm standing right here. I am not going to get suckered into your melodramatics. I will be back in a couple of weeks. Mom, don't go, please. Goodbye, Cassandra. Mom, Mom! Mom! Oh, 
we got to talk about Terry Calvin, or should I say Terry Calvin and Gerald. Did you ever see that that whole thing was coming? Did you no. Like, how could I? I didn't want to believe that Gerald was sleeping with Trish, let alone Calvin? Absolutely not. <laughs> I tell you, man, it has been one hell of a week. I appreciate you having me over here, man. Ain't hey, not a problem, man. You know you my boy? Come on. Talk to me. I tell you what's going on. Hey, man, not a problem. It has been one hell of a week. Hey, so tell me, man, what's good? You figure out your women problems. <laughs> man, these women are killing me slowly. <laughs> Trish came over last night. Sex. So what you trying to tell me, man? You want Trish now? Come on, man. You know I used to date Trish before Cassie moved back to Atlanta. I was gonna marry her, but I fell in love with Cassie. Man, you need to leave Trish alone. That girl ain't nothing but trouble. No, well, me and Trish are actually just real close. Now, I can tell her anything, man, and I do. Hey, Trish is safe, man. So tell me this. Uh, you got room in your life for one more? Heck no. I can't even handle the two women I got. <laughs> hey, um, <laughs> man, I got had some shit last night. I got caught up, and I, I think this bitch might actually tell Terry. She pay off? And what I look like? I ain't got money coming out my ass like DJ. I, I can't afford uh, for any mess to come out, and I can't afford to pay her off. Man, I'm screwed. You can't live with him and you damn sure can't live without him. <laughs> now, I think your situation will work out. I wouldn't even sweat it. And I'm just glad I got my boy to talk to. <laughs> Sometimes chicks don't understand, you know? Especially not Terry. Yeah. Your wife is definitely not the understanding type, man. <laughs> <laughs> Everything with her is so black and white, man. <laughs> you know what? I take that back. She's a good woman. You looking to have her. I don't know, man. You know, sometimes a guy just needs a little bit more. Man, growing up was difficult. Nothing but neglect and sadness. I was sexually abused by my brother. And my cousin would beat my ass every chance he got. And where was my mother? What could she do? She couldn't protect me. And she was schizophrenic. And she would leave us with family and, and at the church all the time. And then when she was stable, we would go back and live with her. I just can't get too close, man. I'm afraid to get too close to Trish. I don't fully trust her. That's why I broke up with her. Hell, and the women that I do trust, I end up hurting them. I just feel like no one understands me. Damn, do you, do you ever feel that way? I understand, man. Babe, hey, what's wrong? You okay? Yes. You know I loved you, right? I mean, despite all this chaos and this confusion with Trish, you, you do know I love you, right? Yes, Gerald, I know that you love me. Even in the midst of all this Trish foolishness. 
I do. Love me? Mama, do you love me? Do I love you? Yes, I love you. I love you so much that I'm no longer using condoms with you. So I'm entrusting you with my life. You I don't want you to say it. Do you love me? Gerald, I will love you forever. As long as you don't mess with Trish. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, did Calvin's marriage recover from this, or is it, like, completely over? Hey, baby, we had a great summer this morning, didn't we? Yes, we sure did. Real good message. And, uh, now that I've been spiritually fed, mm -hmm. and my belly's been fed, Yes. How about you feed me somewhere else now, too? Come on, look, look, look. How about we begin working on that baby, all right? Are you serious? Oh, There you go. Always! Small every moment! With baby talk! Come on! Damn, Terry! All I want to do is make love with my wife! <sighs> Have a kid! What the hell is wrong with you? Damn, Terry! Honey, you are running for office! Do you know how hard it is for me to manage that career? And now you want me barefoot and pregnant too. <laughs> okay. Okay, baby. I got it. <sighs> how about this? Come on, honey. How about this? Come on, big daddy. Come on, big daddy. Make me a baby. Come on. Make me a baby. Come on. I'm waiting. Come on. You know what? Get your ass up. I don't understand why you feel like this is such a big joke. All I want to do is make love to my wife and, and make a freaking baby. God, help me, please. Okay. Don't call the Lord's name in vain. Baby. Come out. Come out what? here. Baby, come here. me away, Terry. I All I want to do is make love to you, and I've asked you for years about starting a family. And all you do is keep pushing me away. I keep pushing you away? Baby, you know I love you. Honey, you know I love you. Well, you can talk to my ass, because I can't hear you. <laughs> Whew. Guess I've done it that time, eh? Whatever. It's open. Come on in. Hey, hey girls. Hey. Mm. Good to see hey, you all. You oh, we're doing good. Uh, doing good. I'm just going to pass and get some stuff straightened up. Have a seat. Thank you, girl. Where's she? Ooh, yeah, where is she? Yeah, she's, she's getting dressed, but she's doing really good. Yeah. Okay. So one day at a time, but she's doing good, okay, and we're good. happy. That's um, that's You all have not told anybody, have you? No, Please. Of course not. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. I don't think that girl could take much more right now. Yeah. You know what? I thought there was supposed to be three of you all today. Where's your girl? Y'all girl, Tanya. Surprise, she never well, come up to. I haven't really heard from her, but last I heard, her and DJ went on a vacation. vacation. 
Oh, girl, shut up. No, yes. Oh, my yes. goodness. Yes. That little. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey, girl. How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. I figured. You know, humans will be making an appearance. I called you like two dozen times. We were concerned about you, girl. I know, but this is just such a private matter, and I don't think you guys will really understand. Oh, uh -uh, no, now come on, that's don't not fair. Go there. Don't shut us out here. Exactly. Have you called the doctor yet? Mm -mm, not yet. Well, you should. Y'all know this girl is out of milk and eggs. Move, move your glass, baby. <laughs> I got to go to the store. Anybody want to roll to go to the store? It, Let's I, make a run. I'll ride with her. I think I'm just going to stay here. You don't want to get out the house? No, but yeah, I'll be, be good. No, but I'll be here when you girls get back. You sure? Okay. All right. Do you need anything? Milk and eggs. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you need anything first? I'm good. Thank good. you. Bad Jackie. Uh, we'll be back in a minute. All right, yeah. I'll okay. be back in a moment. You don't give a shit about how I feel. <laughs> you just want to know if I've got it. You're such a bitch. Get out now. Make me. I will. <laughs> Go get my purse. <laughs> You're crazy. Go get my purse. Now! You know what? This conversation is over. Get out. Now. Don't you want to know how you got it? Trish, I know how I got it. We got it from you. And you know what? I know people just don't go around searching on how to get HIV. And I know you purposely didn't give it to Gerald. But you know what? I am pissed. I'm pissed that he was cheating with you. You're pissed that he was cheating with me? Absolutely. <laughs> look, look, you don't know me. You don't know me. Don't tell me what I could and could not have done on purpose. You don't tell me that. You stole my fiance from me. We were engaged. Cassie, 
You have no idea what I'm capable of. <laughs> you have no idea just how crazy I am. Bitch, I am certifiable. You set it up. Ger Gerald knew how crazy I was. <laughs> and, and so did Terry. You, you know, without my meds, I am capable of anything. Yeah. You know, I used to watch you and Gerald sleeping. <laughs> Bet you didn't know that, did you, Cassie? <laughs> but you are crazy. You are absolutely crazy. Crazy is a term I don't like to use. And you set all this up. My life has changed forever because of your ass. Welcome to my world. <laughs> Girl, I would not worry about what Trish said. Besides, Cassie could have been so afraid that she heard Trish wrong. Uh, I know Trish, and that girl is crazy. And I believe she said it. And I believe she meant it. And I believe she kept it to herself to use for a time such as this. Well, what are you gonna do? Well, since the doctor has confirmed that I'm pregnant, I'm gonna go home and cook a dinner as normal as possible until I can figure out my next move. I'm three months. My trimester is gone and I gotta figure out my move, okay? Uh, you do realize that your man is playing hockey sticks with another man, right? I mean, and you're gonna go home and make him dinner? I mean, what the hell is that? Yes, I'm gonna go home and cook a big dinner too. And I'm gonna act as normal as possible until I figure out my next move. Trust me. Alright. Well, call me later, girl, if you need to talk, alright? Alright, girl. Thank you so much. <sighs> See you in a minute. Y'all. Luna, where have you been? You haven't responded to any of my text messages, you haven't answered any of my calls. Hey, look. Do you have it? Come on, man. Does Terry have it? No, I don't have it. But I do got to go back in six months to get checked. And as far as Terry, I don't even know because he's not talking to me right now. And you could have asked me all this over the phone. What's, what's going on? Look, man. I'm having a real rough time right now. Hey, man, my life is really messed up. I, I need you to just, just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Man, my spot is hot, too, right now, and I can't help you. What do you mean you can't help me? You said that you loved me. You said that you understood me. You said that you would always have my back. You said you about all of that, man. man. You sound like a bitch right now. Man up, grow up, it's over. In fact, I took a job in Charlotte, North Carolina. I leave on Wednesday. Come on, man up. Grow up. What am I gonna do without you? Man, would you keep your voice down? Man, what's wrong? You don't want people to know you're sleeping, man, now? Man, look, we both got something out of this. And don't just sit there and, and, and act like you were some innocent victim, man. You cheated on me. You could have given me AIDS. Man, what you do my life? What you do my life? I thought you knew. Sweetie, how are you doing? Hey, baby. I'm doing good. <laughs> How's your day? My day was great. I just got done doing some of the campaign stuff, met with the LGBT. Wonderful. Looks like we finally got the vote. Wonderful. I'm so proud of you. 
Well, I'd love to hear all about it. So why don't you go change and we can sit down and have dinner and right. tell you all about your day. Well, it smells good. I'm, uh, let me go get changed. Yeah, you go get changed. <laughs> you know your boy Gerald is pulling another one of his disappearing acts again, right? Have you seen him? No, I haven't seen him. Hey, you went to the doctor's office. Has he confirmed anything about the pregnancy yet? No, he has not confirmed the pregnancy yet. When was the last time you've seen Gerald? Babe, I told you I have not seen Gerald. Really? Yeah. Okay. Dinner was so good. I'm happy you enjoyed it. <laughs> nah, spend time with you. Uh, hey, um, what channel did that movie uh, Selfish Desires come on tonight? Um, I'm not sure, but I'd rather read a book. You about to leave me like that? Yes. That nigga trying to play me in my own house. <sighs> what should it be? <laughs> Bat? Knife? Or fucking gun? I ain't fucking with this gay ass no more. Shit. Who the hell do you think you fucking with? But it ain't me. So what you can do is meet me at the same place that we met last time, huh? Yeah, just let him know. Who the fuck you talking to in my damn Who the fuck you? Oh, hey, what are you doing? Oh, oh, hey, hey, I'm what? I'm talking to my campaign man. Oh, really? Get the fuck Your campaign man? What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with me? What the fuck? You're screwing Gerald! What? You fool! Hey, oh. hey, hey, hey! What? Hey, give me, give me this one. What is wrong with you? Get off of me! Sit down and talk about this. Look, I need you to calm down before calm you have down. a miscarriage. Calm down. Yes, and you've been seriously misinformed. Oh, misinformed? The only thing I've been misinformed about is my husband. My husband out there screwing a fucking man. Yo, gay ass! You get the fuck out of my house, and I won't see you no more. You hear me? I want you to get all your shit and get out. And one other thing, you better drop out of that race by the morning before I call all the news stations on your ass. Your punk ass, get the fuck out! Look, this is my house. Oh, your house? I'm not going nowhere. Oh, really? You not going nowhere? Gonna okay, motherfucker, you gonna see you ain't going nowhere. Get the fuck out of here. Really? Now, yeah. Really? Really, Terry, you gonna throw my fucking kids in the yeah, pool? Yeah, and I wanna throw your fucking ass in the pool! Motherfucker! Cassie, you remember when we were little girls? And how... Anytime, anything, I don't care what it was, would go wrong. Our grandmother would come into a room. And what would she do? 
start singing. Start this singing. Mm -hmm. yeah. But every time, it would make us feel so much better. It did, absolutely. I remember all she would sing is those old spiritual church songs. You know, she didn't know anything else. <laughs> this one song she used to sing, Curl, I loved it. Remember this one? Precious Lord. You remember that? Mm -hmm. Take my hand, lead me on, help me stand. I'm so tired. when she started feeling the girl. <laughs> to the light, take, take our hands. Precious Lord, and lead. Lord, please lead us home. You sang that girl. Mm. You have to take this medication. You've got to eat something, okay? Come on now. You haven't eaten all day. My Jackie, Jackie was, was and is everything to me. Jackie, she is the one that helped get me through. When I didn't want to get up, she pushed me. When I was unlovable, she loved me. When I wanted to give up, she was my strength. She was my cheerleader. She fought for me. She fought with me. Um, Jackie, Jackie was there even when my own mother wasn't there. I love Jackie. That's my sister, my Jackie. Well, Jackie sounds like a great person, like a great friend. It's good to have good friends. Um, Edward Johnson, tell, who is he? Tell me who he is to you. Edward. Edward is He's love. He's my love. Edward, words can't describe. I have never seen a man love a woman the way that this man loves me. He has been my strength, his patience. I mean, I don't know where he gets it from. He's my superman. Like, he. He showed me what real, true, unconditional love looks like. He's my strength. He's my best friend. Ugh. Words just can't.
describe how much I love that man. Oh, but your smile does. Oh, I see him sitting over there. Do you think we could bring him over to get a few questions from him? I'm sure he wouldn't mind. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's talk about your love story, Edward. Um, you married Cassie, and, and and you weren't afraid of her HIV status. Uh, that's a huge step. Tell me about it. Well, I was scared. I'm scared to death. I thought about it. I prayed about it. I even distanced myself from her. But I just couldn't shake it. Did I tell you how nice you look today? You did not, but thank you. What's wrong? Long day? No. Gerald, again. Again? What do you do this time? <sighs> Where do I start? First, he hasn't been home. He's, he's been missing. And my gut, it just keeps telling me that he's still sleeping with Trish. I don't know why you continue to allow him to treat you that way. Well, you know why. I love him. Hmm. One thing about women. When you love, you love hard. And you'll give everything you got until you just can't give any more. And that guy has hurt her for the last time. You've just got to figure out when your last time is going to be. <laughs> Gerald is... Not man enough for you. Now, me on the other hand, <laughs> I'm all the man you ever need. <laughs> oh my goodness. Listen, Cassie, you deserve better. You know, I mean, I would love to show you how you deserve to be treated. I want you. When you've had enough, you let me know. I'll be here. Just think about it. What am I going to do with you? <laughs> You'll find out. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right. Edward, you know what your problem is. You don't like to try new things. <laughs> That's not true. I just don't like sushi. How do you know you don't like sushi and you've never tried it? Because I don't like raw fish, and sushi is raw fish. So why go to a sushi bar for lunch if you're not going to try the sushi? You know what? Right? You're right. Which is exactly why the next time we do lunch, uh -huh. we're getting chicken. Chicken? <laughs> <laughs> you mean chicken? Listen, so, listen, Cassie. Um, have you had a chance to think about what we discussed? What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Ed, there's something I need to tell you. What is it? Gerald and I are no longer together. What? That's great. No, no, when did that? No, 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 no. It's not what you think. I don't know how I'm going to tell you this. Just tell me. I've been diagnosed with HIV. What? And I got it from Gerald. <sighs> Due to early detection, I have a great team of doctors and they've been able to stabilize me. And my T cell count is up, which means that I'm healthy, but it doesn't change the fact that I'm HIV positive. I understand that this changes everything and that we would never be the same. Edward, I am sorry. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh. 
I decided to learn everything I could about HIV and AIDS. I even read everything I could on Magic and Cookie. And I realized marriage was doable. Here, but you need to leave. Cassie, look, we have gone through too much for it to end like this. Come on, baby. I still love you. Gerald, you just think you can just come back just like that? You lied to me. And then on top of lying to me, you gave me HIV. And I still took you back. But what kind of woman do you think I am? Oh, Cassie, you were my everything. <laughs> Please don't think that I have forgotten that you have slept with Calvin. Yeah, while you're rear-ending him, you coming up in me, you could have gave me anything. Anything. Gerald, I don't trust you anymore. I can't trust you anymore. Tell me you G love me. Gerald. T tell me that you still love me. Gerald. Because I, I know you do. Come Gerald. On. Gerald, I, I guess. It's been five years. Come on, baby, I'm sorry. God, you're so but Gerald, Gerald. Oh, what in the world is going on up in this house? Get your clothes on. Gerald, look, move. You got three to the count of three to get your sorry little tail at this girl's house. Do you hear me? Jackie, it's no disrespect, but this is none of your business. None of my business. Nope. None of my business? <laughs> Who was it that was here with this girl when she crying some, some, some tears over God only knows what she sees in you? And, and who, who was he when this girl was too sick off her medications to get to the bathroom? Was it you? Okay. Oh, oh, Jackie, no, you? Jackie, Jackie, that's enough. That's enough. Oh, you think you get, oh, no, uh-uh, you gonna get up out of here. Uh-uh, you know, uh-uh, get out, get out, get out, Gerald. Go! He, this is, mm-mm. Jackie, why did you have to do that? He was just apologizing. Oh, he was? Yeah. And you had to take your clothes off to do that? Look, Jackie, you are not my mother. You're just my cousin. You know what? <laughs> You got a good point. Jackie, 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 Jack, Jack, Jack. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Girl, don't play me. I just don't know. Don't what, play me. I don't know what I was thinking. No, I don't either. But I just wanted some. I'm horny. I think you've gotten enough from Gerald already, okay? Your legs closed with that fool over there. What am I gonna do, girl? Ugh. Oh, How have you?
you helped with um, Cassie and her demons? She mentioned demons earlier and her low self-esteem and, and issues with her mother. Um, the hold Gerald had on her. What was your role in all of this? I pray with this woman. I pray for this woman. We are totally honest with each other. No secrets. So when she honestly shares her fears with me, I'm good. It can be difficult when I have to guess what's wrong. But I just wait until she's ready to talk. In the meantime, my behavior has to remain consistent. That can be hard. He texted you? He did. What did he say? He said that it's fine. He wants to talk. Good. And we're meeting now. Cool. Where y'all hooking up? Here. Go here? Yeah, because, Jackie, this I don't know how this conversation is going to go. It could go real left. And if it doesn't go well, I'm going to need you. It's going to be fine, girl. But that's cool. You're me, Casa, su casa. I got you, girl. He's coming over now? I'm excited. I am too. He's such a nice <laughs> guy. I like Edward. I like Edward. Yes. Oh my goodness. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to think. Like, I'm nervous. Don't be. He's a really great guy. You know, I get vibes about people. You know how I got that. Oh. I get it from my grandmother. You know how we do. <laughs> he's good people. He's good people. I'm glad he's I've been praying and trying to figure out exactly what it is I'm supposed to do here. What do you mean? Cassie, there hasn't been a day that has went by that I have not thought of you. What are you, what are you talking about, Edward? I guess what I'm trying to say, Cassie, is do you remember when I told you that you deserve so much more? Yeah. Well, you still deserve so much more. I have HIV. <laughs> That's enough. Like, much more. There's no such thing as much more for me at this point. That's not true, Cassie. I've been doing my research. And I know that you can live a long, healthy life. <laughs> I know this, but what are you talking about, Edward? Cassie. He's not a superhero, and he's not God. 
However, baby, you are God sent. God knew what he was doing when he gave you to me. He knew that I needed you. He knew that I needed your love, your strength. You have shown me what true love is. You have shown me what it's supposed to feel like. You have protected me and you have made me feel beautiful. And I am just so thankful for you. I love you. Beautiful. Well, I'm so glad that you found each other. I really thank you for your honesty today. And on behalf of Destiny Magazine, we all thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Was a 